The Secretary General arrived at the G20 summit in St. Petersburg on Thursday with a message. There is no military solution to Syria's ongoing conflict. The current situation caused by the allegation of chemical weapon use and deteriorating humanitarian situation in Syria urgently require world leaders to focus their political will to address this issue. The U.S. and Russia in particular have been at odds over Syria, deadlocking the U.N. Security Council. Speaking to reporters, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. said the Security Council system was not functioning as designed. Instead, the system has protected the prerogatives of Russia, the patron of a regime that would brazenly stage the world's largest chemical weapons attack in a quarter century while chemical weapons inspectors sent by the United Nations were just across town. Russia, along with China, has used its veto power in the U.N. Security Council three times to block resolutions meant to condemn the Syrian government. But as the U.S. considers military action, China's government again urged caution. Unilateral military action will violate international law and principles of international relations, complicate the Syrian issue, and bring more turmoil to the Middle East. Meanwhile in Syria, amateur video showed heavy artillery fire, and the UN's top humanitarian official said continued fighting has trapped civilians caught in the middle. I'm here to look at the overall humanitarian uh, effort. Uh, I'm extremely concerned that the situation on the ground is uh, becoming uh, worse. The UN has raised one and a half billion U.S. dollars to fund relief efforts, but says at least five billion is needed. More than two million people have fled the country since the war began in March of 2011. The UN's concern is that an already grim civil war in Syria spins out into a wider regional conflict. That's why on Wednesday, UN officials met with regional leaders to appeal for international assistance in coping with Syria's ongoing refugee crisis. And they appealed to the international community to overcome their differences to help stop the fighting in Syria. Stephen Fee, CCTV at the United Nations in New York.